Yo dudes, the Empire's pretty chill. Maybe you could like join it or something. Luke Mercer Prime here so it's time for another action figure unboxing and review today and today guys I'm going to be unboxing a figure for this time of course um, a machine character from one of my favorite movies of all time and and this of course is a mini figure for for a, a very dangerous as villainous as machine character and that's of course none other than as you guys have seen by the title a figure of the Ed 209 from one of my favorite movies of all time, Robocop. So yeah, now this is like, you know, like a mini figure, I think, which is uh, pretty cool. And um says here it's made by a company called um, Hire, Hire Toys Limited, which is uh, pretty cool. Uh, I don't think I've heard of that company before ever. <laughs> um, so yeah, it looks uh, pretty cool, this figure. And um, there's pictures on the side there of it. It's really cool. You can do all different kinds of poses with it. On, on the back here, you, you can see Robocop approaching it, which is pretty cool. I think there's sort of like a small figure Robocop, you know, like a small figure that goes with this, I guess, maybe, which is pretty cool. So I could go with it. But yeah, personally, well, I prefer to, of course, get my the neck of figures when it comes to Robocop because of the detail and all that. So, so when it comes to Robocop franchise, guys, as some of you may or may not know, Robocop is one of my favorite movies of all time. And, you know, um, I, of course, have this... This special collector's edition of the director's core Robocop, the original movie, which in my opinion is a masterpiece, one of the greatest movies of all time. And my favorite movie V987. And this this comes with the director's core of it on Blu-ray and also with the original theatrical version. It also comes with a post which I which I put up on my wall over there. Um don't you guys probably well, can't see it off camera, but yeah, um got it on, on there. And it also comes with a, with a book showing how the film was made as well, which is, which is really cool. And yeah. And when it comes to the rest of the franchise, though, um, I, however, like to pretend that Robocop is a, is a standalone movie. The second movie, in my opinion, has its good moments, but unfortunately, it does kind of, unfortunately, ruin the, the first movie's ending a bit by making Robocop forget who he is. You know, that he's, he says Alex Murphy's dead, even though at the end of the movie, he's regaining his humanity. So, yeah, it, it kind of, like, ruins his whole story arc, really. And... And, and then, of course, when it comes to what came after Robocop 2, we, of course, got one of the worst movies I've ever seen in my life, which, which, which of course, is Robocop 3, which, in my opinion, is 100% garbage. Yeah, but the movie absolutely sucked. The only thing about it, in my opinion, was the music, and that was it. Yeah, the movie is, is absolute trash. And then, of course, we've got a remake, which, in my opinion, is, you know, um, is okay, but I don't like how it torn down the violence, which is not right, because Robocop, it, of course, is a character that's not supposed to be for children at all. That's what the first movie got right, even the second movie did as well, because that was also graphic too. So I appreciate the second film was still being graphic like the first movie, but still, in my opinion, was not needed. And yeah, if, I think when it comes to you know um a, you know like a remake, which of course, in my opinion, is more faithful to the source material than than Dread, in my opinion, is, is a way more superior police reboot movie, in my opinion, than the Robocop 2014 movie. So, uh, without further ado, let's get this figure open, shall we? So, let me uh, get the box open. Uh, ah, so on the top here, I can open it here, which is pretty good. Uh, Got to be careful, though. So, when you open it up... Uh, oh, wow, check this out. Okay, so... So, when you take it out, this is what you get. So, yeah. Now, this looks really awesome and, and fun to, to get out. Absolutely, look at this. Now, I think I've got to, like, uh, take off the, uh, the plastic, I think. Uh, I'm not sure how I'd do it, for. So I'll do, like... Oh, there we go. So, I've just got to, you know, break it off gently. Wow, look at this. Here it is, guys. There's the head two on. I'm just going to put it there for you. Look at that. That is just absolutely amazing, isn't it? Look at the detail we did to it, yeah. And um, it's pretty well plausible, too. What's this here? It's like a plastic thing in it. I don't know what that's for. Does it like... Is it like hear something? I don't know how it works. There's not like any batteries in this, is there? I have no idea. There's not like, like any battery compartments. I don't see any. But yeah, this figure's very impressive. Oh yeah, the, the turret's also turned too, which is really cool. And move up and down too, uh, which is really good. These like shoulder pad things, yeah. They, they also move up too, which is really cool. And legs are also good too. Do they move like, you know, um, like this or something? You know, because of these at the end, you know, like stretch out. Oh, they do. Nice. That's cool. So the legs can stretch out. That's really cool. Can stand to like this. 
And yeah, so like, um, just like in the movie, please put down your weapon. You have 20 seconds to comply. <laughs> and as you can see, the, the figure itself is not really that big when it, when it comes to comparing to Necker's figures, for example. I think if Necker made it, it'd be a lot bigger, of course. And I'll show you like a size comparison. So here is, of course, my Necker figure of Ultimate Robocop, which, I, which I've already unboxed in this series. One of my favorite figures of all time I've unboxed. As you can see, Robocop is, of course, taller than it, which, of course, he's not in a movie, because this, this, of course, you know, is like a hulking brute, isn't it, compared to Robocop. But, however, the Ed Twin, of course, has a form of humour in the film because it can't climb stairs, which is um, definitely a very great way to put humour in there, absolutely. But, yeah, so that's what it's like when compared to my figure of Robocop. And, yeah, we did a really great job with the design of this Ed Twin 9. Really did, just really brilliant figure, in my opinion, yeah. Very well detailed and yeah, just absolutely awesome design. And yeah, oh, we also need like this too. Really cool. Love how it does that. But it's probably a very well designed figure in my opinion. Yeah, very well designed. And yeah, the Ed Sword is definitely you know a very ruthless villain in my opinion. Yeah, and it's really cool how one of the, one of the producers for the movie actually voiced him as well, which is really cool too. I did I did like that. A lot of who who voiced was it's one of the producers, which is really cool. And, yeah. Yeah, the attention to detail on this figure is very impressive. I do love what we've done with it. Very good to have it done this. And legs are also as well portable too at the bottom, which is nice. You can even see, like, you know, different colours of wires too, in it, Which is uh, really cool. But, you know, uh, there you go. See that, yeah. Different coloured wires. And um, I think here as well, yeah. yeah. This is really amazing detail right there. really is. I love what we did with this. So yeah um anyway guys so um this is definitely in my opinion a really awesome and very well designed figure very impressive if um higher toys did a very great job making this yeah I keep forgetting the name of the company because i'm so used to unboxing neck and mcfarlane figures but yeah this is definitely new really but yeah um they did a really great job with, with doing this really did did a great job with it it's very impressive what we were able to do with it yeah um so, guys, uh, this will be unboxing the Ed 209 by Higher Toys. Definitely, in my opinion, a must have it if you love a Robocop movie like I certainly do. And, yeah, um, so, you know, we'll drill, guys. Um, be sure to give this video a like. Also, be sure to leave comments what you guys think of this figure of Ed 209. If you've seen, if you you have a figure yourself or you, you think about getting it, I'd recommend it. If you like Robocop the movie of Ed 209 in general or Higher Toys with their figures in general, definitely a must have, in my opinion. Also, be sure to join Team Prime by pressing subscribe and become a future. If you would like to be a member, you can press on any piece of lights or you can the description. And I'll see you all later.